because as long as a Frankenstein walks the earth, our village is in danger. But Inspector, the Baron is dead. And he was the last of the Frankenstein. No. No. Fun lives. Oh. A grandson. Who is he? What does he do? He's a professor. The Dean of Anatomy at New York's most famous institute of higher learning. The John, Miriam, and Anthony Hopkins School of Medicine. As long as this young Frankenstein lives, we will never be safe. You're right, Inspector. Those Frankensteins are dangerous. Dangerous? You're telling me? I'll never forget. For life as a young man, one of Frankenstein's creatures came rampaging through our village. I tried to stop him, but I couldn't. He tore off my left leg and my right arm. I had to go all the way to Vienna to find a top surgeon who could put me back together again. A top surgeon from Vienna? That must have been expensive. Expensive? Are you kidding? It cost me an arm or a leg. <laughs> oh, which cost more the arm or the leg? <laughs> we have to get a new village idiot. <laughs> Beware of the Frankensteins! I may be the village idiot. Oh, yeah, I can feel it in my bones. There's something very wrong going on in that castle. Yeah, they're up to no good, I tell you. Wait, let's not rush to judgment. Oh, what the hell? Just this once, let's rush to judgment. Yeah! I think it is about time we paid a visit on this young Frankenstein. We'll pretend to be welcoming him to Transylvania, but in reality, we'll be doing some serious world-class schnobbeck. And so, we must all keep our eyes peeled and our ears open for any strange or suspicious goings on it's the village itself. Would be especially on the lookout for an enormous cart with creaking wheels, perhaps, carrying a giant freshly dug up corpse. A corpse that could be illuminated by a pair of swinging lanterns held by a pair of cloaked grave robbers. Or something like that. You know what I mean. Yeah. In any event, my fellow villagers, if we catch them doing anything evil up there, remember our new law. Any man who creates a monster that harms a single hair on a person's head shall be hung by the neck until that day is Shall I say, Herr Doctor, 
You're very welcome, Ja, danke. Ja, ja, ja. uh, it's uh, getting a bit chilly out here tonight. So cold, so cold. May we come in? Uh, no. Why not? Because it's the maid's day off and the castle is a frightful mess. It's a, a frightful mess. mess. <laughs> but for that, what was what? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> that time I definitely heard something. Uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> the monster's awake. We need to think of some sort of diversion and quick before. <laughs>
just as we thought. The monster, seize him! Yes, Inspector. What's wrong? Seize him, I said. We're too late, sir. He's already dead. Dead? Are you sure? Yeah, you're right. He's gone. Thank God! Oh my God, no one killed him! But it wasn't only the monster we came here for, Herr Doctor. It was also for you. There, the left shoe of your beloved betrothed, Fraulein Bennett. Found only an hour ago in a cave nearby. Oh, the remains of the poor woman after your monster had finished with her. No, Elizabeth, I brought about her death too. Will hang him at midnight in the village square. Yeah. Take him away. Yeah. No, no, wait. You've got the wrong man. You've got the wrong man. He, he didn't want to create the creature. I, I'm the one who should be punished. Dr. Frankenstein is innocent. All right, sir. Let's the doctor go. Will hang that or instead. Yeah. I was a little hasty. Uh, truth be told, I wasn't all that involved. Uh, sorry, Doc, I tried. <laughs> all right, sir. As I was saying, takes the doctor away! <laughs> Now, my fellow Transylvanians, for tonight's feature event, the hanging by the neck until dead of Dr. Frederick Frankenstein. No! Any last words before we string you up, Dr. Frankenstein? Just this. My time on earth is done. Talking like noble coward? <laughs> it's because of him. Half crazed, mad genius that he is. He gave me the power of speech and a brilliant mind. Oh, yeah? If you're so brilliant, let's maintain his name. 81, he is brilliant. <laughs> Nevertheless, this makes no sense. He's dead. What can the monster do? We don't know, but because of the transference, everything that was in the doctor's brain is now in the monster's brain. I'm afraid, Inga, the inspector is right. He's dead, and I can't find a... Wait. No, I am... I am getting a pulse. I'm getting a faint pulse. A faint pulse? Nonsense. His neck is broken. Bruised, yes, but not broken. And his... 
spinal cord is still intact. There's a chance. There's a chance. There is a chance. A one in a million chance. Still. Dimethyl amino azobenzene sulfonic acid in this subcortal brain fluid is still in balance. I just have to stimulate his cortex. How? I've got it. Does anyone have a hat kit? All right.
going to join the family business, learn the family trade, make the dogs a monster, make the world a train. Take a hand ride when we're on our honey. honey we'll make the sun of Frankenstein, the sequel's coming soon. If we walk to my house for a glass of wine, wine, food, a piece of sponge cake. Thank <laughs> you.